Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Monster Light Squat Rack from Rogue called the SML1. My goal is going to be to compile all the information and make it short and sweet. So I'm breaking this video down into three sections, the assembly, the specifications, and my one year review. After watching this, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just put them down in the comments below and I hope I can help you guys as best I can. Thanks for watching guys. The assembly is pretty simple. So at the base, you have these triangular connections that connect the two three by three uprights to those three pieces that form the base. All the bolts, nuts, and washers are all included in the package. Once assembled, it is 72 inches tall and it covers a 49 by 48 footprint, weighing 122 pounds. It's pretty compact and could fit in most rooms or garages. Also, as you can tell, the SML1 does not come with a pull-up bar, but Rogue does make a model with a pull-up bar attachment. It's just a little bit taller. I'll be honest, I'm not an Olympic lifter or a CrossFit superstar. I'm just your average guy that wants to come home and have a good workout to stay fit and have a long, healthy life. Having said that, this squat stand is overkill for my needs, which can be a good thing. It can handle a thousand pounds and is built like a tank. I'll bench and squat three times a week on this thing. The most I have ever put on this is 350 pounds and it doesn't shake or rattle. The steel feels strong. The wells look clean and the powder coat finish is outstanding. Now Rogue is not the only company that makes equipment. You have Titan Fitness, Red Fitness and a lot of others. Could you go with a different brand? Yes. Are there cheaper options? Hell yeah. You do not buy Rogue because it's the cheapest. You buy Rogue because they have great customer service, they stand behind their product and they are always creating additional attachments and their finish is consistent. I hope this video was helpful, and as you guys noticed, my puppy ended up peeing midway through the video. Her name's Coco, so if you guys would like to see her more, just let me know. Thanks for watching.